Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? And thank you guys so much for hanging out with me as we go ahead and take a look into the next episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is season number one, episode number seven, and I can't wait to get this next one started. The reason why is because this episode is titled Angel, and honestly, I've been having a lot of questions about who this Angel guy is. Why does he just randomly pop up, show up whenever... Whenever or wherever uh, Buffy's whereabouts are, you know, um, I've been questioning him for quite some time since we've actually seen him on the show and hopefully we get some answers. Hopefully we get some answers to figure out who this guy actually is. Uh, previous episode was a pretty insane episode. Sander was pretty much kind of possessed by some evil hyenas, right? I mean, that's kind of like what it was, you know, essentially. Um, so that was a very good episode. We kind of got to see a little bit of how Willow feels more about Sander. And uh, I've always felt that she had like a little bit of a crush on him, but I feel like it's getting to be, uh, it's going to be a bit more than that. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we should be in for a pretty interesting episode and I can't wait for it. I can't wait to see and find out more about Angel and uh, hopefully you guys can't wait as well. Hopefully you are a fan of the show Buffy the Vampire Slayer, what we do here in Geeked Out Nation. Don't forget to leave the like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on our Patreon if you guys want some early and unedited episodes. Anyways, let's go ahead, dive into this and see what this next episode is all about. This is Buffy and here we go. Hi honey, you're in grave danger. I'll see you next month. <laughs> it's true. Just leave it. <laughs> Ouch! Please get your one's talking about that outfit doesn't make you look like a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. Boy, that Cordelia is a regular breath of vile air. What do you fix? Paycheck. Good night. Dance with Willow. Dance with Willow. Want a free drink? Ew! <laughs> she put it in his face. I would have been upset. <laughs> Play games. Show yourself. Oh shit. Oh no! Uh, oh, I have to. <laughs> go, Buffy, go! Oh no. Come on, Buffy. Come on, Buffy. Okay, Angel. Ooh. Isn't that like the law? Like, vampires can't be invited or come in unless they're invited? A vampire. What'd you do? Can a daughter just be concerned about her mother? Well, she tried to hide Angel, and clearly he didn't want to be hidden. <laughs> um, Angel, uh, this is my mom. Mom, this is Angel. Well, hook up soon and do that study thing. <laughs> that was perfect. My job to fight guys like that. What's your excuse? Right, somebody has to. Well, is he like? What does your family think of your is he like Giles? They're dead. Or Giles, however you say his name. Like a watcher, because he always pops up wherever she's at. Was it vampires? It was. Buffy, come on, wake up and smell the seduction. It's the oldest <laughs> trick in the world. What? Saving my life? Hater. The ribs? Duh. I mean, guys will do anything to impress a girl. Like, <laughs> I once drank an entire gallon of Gatorade without food. Yeah, Buffy, you should stay at my house and tell these samurai guys their history. What? Nah, uh, don't worry about Angel. We'll look around your house and tell him to get out of town fast. <laughs> and Buffy are uh, not in any immediate jeopardy. Eventually, <clears throat> Buster Wilson and someone else. But in the meantime, the three, having failed, will offer their own lives in penance. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Ooh, he threw that one hard. Ooh. Buffy, this is training. <laughs> oh my god. Let's move on to the crossing. I didn't read it, I swear. <laughs> oh, Buffy, you gave it away. <laughs> oh. I did a lot of thinking today. I really can't be around you. Okay, but I, I'm, my, my mind is on the fact that he said I'm much older. What does that mean? How much older are you? Because now this makes this kiss feel a bit awkward to me. I saw a shadow. Did 
Did he just turn into a vampire? He's a vampire? I think it's obvious what you have to do. I don't know. He seems a bit different. It is a slayer's duty. How could you love an umpire? Everyone has <laughs> Where did you get that dress? This is a one of a kind hot. Boy, 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 did he surprise me. That was something I was not expecting to see. I thought, if anything, he was like Giles, like a watcher. Because it explained how he always popped up where Buffy was. Embarrassing when you thought he had read your diary, but then it turned out he had <laughs> the same way. I was say, Willow, don't be like that right now. It was mentioned some 200 years ago. Not Better than if he didn't. Question. Right. 100 years or so before he came to our shores. What was he like then? That's a good question, too. A it's a real good question. Don't think I'm not grateful, you letting me kill the three. I have this fantasy that Sanders just going to grab me and kiss me right on the lips. Aww. Sanders, you've got to speak up, girl. That's right. No, 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 no. No speaking up. That way leads to madness and sweaty palms. Okay, Aww. So here's something I got to know. When Angel kissed you. Oh, man. I would have spooked if I seen that. <clears throat> Very nice of you to invite me into your home. This is bad. This is bad. I've been wrestling with the IRS all night. Would you? Damn, he can't go in. Damn it. Just say yes. <gasps> No, Buffy. Please don't tell me Buffy walks in on this. No. Hey. No! Oh, oh man. No. Damn, she threw him out the window. <laughs> <laughs> she wants that bow. <laughs> That's so funny. Because in the beginning of the episode. Now she wants to kill you. Leave me alone. <clears throat> what did you think? Did you think she would understand? I thought I fainted. Someone should really check and make sure she's all right. Yeah, someone should right away. I'll do it. <clears throat> cool is amazing. <laughs> we have a problem. Wow, I thought he would at least try to explain himself. For her. I have a question. What if we find her and she's fighting Angel and some of his friends? What the heck are we gonna do about it? Do you know what the sun Not a damn thing. <laughs> that hair on top of that outfit? To love someone who used to love you. You guys were involved for several. <laughs> Scary. Scarier. Oh no! Oh! Oh, don't worry. Oh. Ooh! Oh, I don't know. Can I kill? Close, but no heart. Oh, only in the heart. Damn it! Yo, Buffy is strong. She dead ass moved that whole pool table with somebody on top of it. That's crazy. <clears throat> oh, Angel, Angel. Angel. Because I'm not threatened. I'm just going to look this way. Dance with him, Willow. Ah. I thought Willow's going to be like, let's just dance. Around. 
Wow. I did notice that, you guys. I noticed how she had the cross there, and I was thinking, because he is a vampire, and I was thinking, like, if that was to touch him, would that hurt him? That explains why that hurt him just now when he said what he said. But all right, you guys, that was our episode for today. Season number one, episode number seven, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Angel. Now, I'm very, very satisfied with this episode. I feel like it answered a lot of things that I had, you know, questions for uh, for Angel. You know, I wanted to know more about him. I wanted to know what his deal was. How was he able to catch up with uh, Buffy and be in these situations where, you know... I mean, it just be in in these positions where it's like, how did he know she was in this situation? So, for example, when the three vampires were attacking her, he came out of nowhere. I'm like, what? How? What? Is he a watcher? Like, that's what I kept thinking. I kept thinking he was the same thing like Giles. Uh, he was not. We ended up finding out that Angel is a vampire. Uh, a vampire from... T he's damn near like two so 200 and something years old. Um... That's why when when we found out when Angel and Buffy first kissed and he said I was a bit older, I was like, whoa, what's going on here? Because to me, when he said that, that was the only thing that was running through my mind. Like, okay, he said he's way older than her. Well, he didn't say way older, but he was like, I'm older than you. And I started to sit here and think like, damn, how old could this person possibly be? You know, I was very lost and very stuck. Not one time did I think he would would have been a vampire. Now, another reason why I didn't think for sure that, you know, that Angel was a vampire was because I assume Buffy had this ability of finding out. Like, I, I assume she had this ability of being able to find out whether she's close to a vampire or not you know what i mean there was not one time where she was with angel where i felt that she sensed that a vampire was near you know what i mean i i thought that was something that she could pick up on and i assumed that with angel being a vampire she could have picked up on it and she did not um which is why i was like oh wow very surprised to find out that angel is actually a vampire i think this is cool I think this is cool to see that there are vampires uh, out there that aren't all bad. You know, I'm pretty positive now seeing how Angel is. I'm pretty sure that throughout the show we will possibly encounter more vampires who are very similar to him. You know, who wants to, you know, fight against evil, if you guys would like to say. I mean, that's kind of what that was. He He's fighting against evil. Uh yeah, that was really cool. That was pretty cool. I really liked what I seen in this episode. What I also really liked about this episode was how dark this was. This felt like we were watching a horror movie, okay? I'm going to click on certain scenes just so you guys can see what I'm talking about, okay? So, if you look on your screen, I'm not sure if it's because it's an older show that the camera, this is why it looks the way it does, but I think the uh, director purposely made it you know, this way. So look at Angel. Look how dark he is. Look how dark around this whole entire episode was. And to me, it felt like we were watching a horror movie, to be honest with you guys. The way the the score sound, I loved it. I thought the score made it, you know, give it that extra edge for this episode. Um, again, look how dark it is, you guys. Very, very dark scenes here. Look at again. This is another scene. Well, this makes sense because he's a vampire. He can't be in light. So every time we'll see Angel and, and whoever else in darkness, it totally makes sense. Um, even at the end, you guys, even at the end of this episode, when we end up going to uh, the Bronx, which is like a local club, I think, for teens or whatever. Look how dark it is. And I get it because no one's there. It's nighttime. It's closed. It's dark. I get that. But I'm just saying like. The way they shot this, it just feels so much like a horror movie. Look at look at how dark it is. So there was definitely some moments in this episode where I was like, oh man, this feels creepy. Uh, let's go ahead and play this really quick just so you guys can hear the score. Now, I want to play it right here because I think this was more of where it felt like a horror type of feel. So I'm playing the score. And then you guys check it out. Hear this out. Again, see how dark it is and you hear the score? The way that this director made this episode 
was phenomenal, man. It felt like a horror movie, this episode. This probably feels like the darkest episode I feel like we've seen so far, to be honest with you guys. But I think that this episode worked. Uh, I liked it a lot, and I'm very happy that we got to find out more about this angel guy that I constantly kept asking you guys about. You know, I kept, I was just... I couldn't quite figure him out, and I'm happy to, to get some answers on who he really is. Um, going forward, okay, going forward, I'm not sure if this means we will see Angel anytime soon. It looks like these two came to an agreement to not see each other or at least not be romantically involved, I guess. Um, but I hope that we get to see more of Angel, to be honest with you guys. I think that he was a cool guy. I think that... Uh, he definitely was giving warnings to Buffy, and he, he even helped her out a few times. I would definitely like to have Angel stick around some more, but I don't know if that's the direction the show will take. So we'll see. We'll see what happens, you guys. Very, very good episode. I enjoyed it, and hopefully you guys did as well. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys on that next episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer.